हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू लेक्चर ऑन वीएचडीएल मॉड्यूल फॉर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज डिजाइन एंड इंप्लीमेंट फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द एक्चुअल सेशन लेट्स पॉज द वीडियो एंड थिंक अबाउट व्हाट इज द एट्रीब्यूट्स नाउ द एट्रीब्यूट्स आर नथिंग बट विच इज अलाउड टू एक्सट्रैक्ट एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू हैविंग अ सिग्नल in your vhdl module or in the vhdl code that signals additional information is nothing but whether the signal is having positive edge what is the value of that signal whether it is negative edge whether the event is occurring on the signal or not right so all that nothing but the additional information of the signal what is the last bound of the signal what is the uh, first bound of the signal high bound of the signal or what is the left bound of the signal what is the route bound of the signal these are nothing but the additional information or attributes of the signal also as i said an attribute is a value or it is a function it is a type it is a range it is signal or it is a constants and there are two pre uh, two types of the attributes one is a predefined attributes and another is a user defined attributes right you going to get it that how those attributes are there while we going for the further in the session right now let's start with the flip flops starting with the d flip flops this is the d flip flop everyone know that this one is a basic flip flop of your uh, digital design system you can say that uh, you can see over here there are inputs and outputs inputs are nothing but the clock d and rst that is nothing but the reset and output is nothing but the q everyone knows the working of the d flip flop is that whatever the input you are applied on the d will get uh, on the output side that is q whenever there is a clock event occurring now that depends whether you are having positive edge clock or negative edge clock that can be considered while writing the vhdl module so let's go for the vhdl module now wh while writing the vhdl module you have to Uh, keep in mind that there are three three main part of the vhdl module first part is a library declaration second part is a entity uh, part and third part is a architecture part right so first part library declaration in that which library you are using you have to mention that one from that library what are the packages you are using that also you have to mention so here i mention that i am using library ieee from that library i am using package std logic 1164 this is the package name and from that package i am using all the possible all whatever the declared in that all components i am using so these two lines supposed to be there compulsory lines are there you have to use that one if using you other than this library if you are using any other library that is for example work library so that also you have to mention you when you are doing the programming part or vhdl module for writing in a further more uh, complex circuit in that case you going to use that work library now for d flip flop it's okay with the i triple e then second part comes is a entity part as i said so entity this is the syntax entity keyword you have to use then entity name supposed to be there each port in the entity port declaration is there port declaration is nothing but the what are the inputs and output to your system or design for which you are writing the vhdl module so we know that what are the inputs to the uh, d flip flop so inputs are clock reset d which is a so direction is in and now here the, it is mentioned that std logic means the value is not defined initially undefined if you i write over here uh, instead of std logic if it if i write over here bit means it is a type of bit it is having value either 0 or 1 now here it is not a bit so that's why it is std logic mention so that's why it is when i go for the simulation it shows the undefined right output is one output that is q again uh, std logic so output is also still not defined what is the type of that if i write a bit over here means it is having either 0 or 1 value then once you done with the port declaration part you have to end the entity so end entity entity name supposed to be mentioned after that architecture third part of the vhdl module architecture architecture name of entity name same name supposed to be there is architecture begin now you have to write the 
here behavior of your d flip flop how your d flip flop works so here we have to write inside the process because we using clock so process then in the in the bracket sensitivity less that that is a clock signal is used then process begin now here if if clock tick event and clock equals to 1 now the tick so this is a called as a tick clock tick event event is nothing but the attribute we just saw at the starting of the session what is the attribute attribute is nothing but the additional parameter or additional information about the signal if now this can this attribute is nothing but it is checking whether the event is occurring or the not on a signal on this particular clock if event is occurring and during that event if clock equals to 1 then we are going further if event is not occurring or clock is not 1 we are not going further now we if these two conditions are true let's go for second if reset is 1 my output is 0 if it is not else part is my output equals to d q equals to d and if and this if and process and end architecture this is the flow to write the vhdl model for d flip flop you can verify this model with the help of simulation this is the simulation output see as i said because of while writing the entity part i have used std logic for inputs and outputs so that's why it is value is undefined so showing the signal is in a brown color or you can say orange color once i started the clock over here it is showing pulses right now because of the simulation time i just compressed so it is showing the compressed version of the signal but it is having pulses over here crowded one after that i make a reset signal one but because of that i reset one my clock output is zero then i made reset zero and if d equals to zero output zero still reset is zero means if i change d to one output is one so whatever the value on d when the reset is zero that value get reflected on output if the reset is one your output is still zero right so this is how you can verify the simulation of the d flip flop now let's go for the jk flip flop this is the jk flip flop everyone having the familiar with that one similar to d1 only the inputs are j and k another additional inputs are preset clear output is q and one more output is q bar it is a uh, you can say inverted version of the q right so we know the jk flip flop let's go for the vhdl model for that as i said three important parts uh, library declaration entity and architecture so in library we already saw entity is nothing but entity entity name port declaration inputs and outputs preset clear clock jk are the inputs std logic q and q bar are the outputs now here q is mentioned as a in out why because for q bar to generate the q bar you have to apply a q you have to use q as a input so that's why it is mentioned as a in out to generate the q bar you you will understand while writing the architecture so once you done with this part architecture architecture name of entity name architecture begin now the process inside the process sensitivity list is there preset clear clock these are the sensitivity list then process begin now first condition if clear equals to 1 in that case my output equals to 0 but after 10 seconds additional part i am writing over here you can use the delay in the vhd module right if this condition fails let's go for the second one else if part is again if preset is 1 output is 1 but after 10 nanoseconds if both condition are false both signals are 0 in that case i am checking whether the clock is there clock event is occurring and clock equals to 1 0 sorry clock equals to 0 then my q equals to now this is the whatever the boolean expression you are having over here that you can get with the help of a truth table if you know the jk truth table you can easily so q is nothing but j and dead with the not of q now here not of q means you are using q as input right so that's why we used in out then which is ordered with the not of k and q right but and this whatever the result you are getting 
that result is assigned to q but after 10 nanosecond right you will get this in the simulation then end if this if is ended over here then end process after process we have to update the qn signal because the q only we consider over here so that qn is nothing but the not of q that is a q bar and then end architecture that is the architecture name so this is the vhdl module for uh, jk flip flop you can verify with the help of simulation so this is a simulation window now here you can see that uh, while i am talking about the delay 10 nanoseconds here if i make uh, preset clear, clear one clear one over here it is ended over here in that case the output is it started over here but after 10 nanosecond the output is zero when clear is one here i make clear zero and preset one but after 10 nanosecond my output becomes one and the q bar is ver inverse version of your q so whatever you are having inverted version is below that right so this is how you can verify the uh, vhdn module for device or design for you uh, generated with the help of simulation these are the references thank you